Springs. It's been the last time I was here was I think almost a year ago. About a year, and so much has changed between then and, and now. Right. Um, tell us a little bit about yourself, and then let me start asking you questions. Okay. Uh, so my name is Adig Louis Victor Louis. Um, been in the space um, for a while. Um, I'm one of those people around that, you know, I think I always brag that I've never had a job all my life. Um, I'm one of those unemployable people out there. Um, you know, I think right from my, I think I made my first $100,000 when I was in my 300 level. Um, yeah, made my first. <laughs> How did you first $100,000 when you were in 300 level and police did not carry you? I did legally, by the way, because, you know, um, yeah, it was legally because at the end of the day, um, for police will not arrest you if you're you are doing something legitimate and you know, you're making your money. You can show evidences, they can see things happen. Um, I remember one time someone stopped me, one of these, um, before they abolished SARS, yeah. And I remember that I had to tell them to go Google my name, you know, and, and that was what saved me. Just Google the name, you know, just Google one. They found a couple of articles back in the day, and um, boom, I, I was out of there. Mm, 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 mm. So tell us, this is one of the most important parts of the conversation. This, to me, is, is major. How did you, first of all, say hello to everybody watching. Um, people okay. gathered here just... I, yeah, I can hear you that. Difference. I think you're, I don't know, maybe it's from my end, but I think you're breaking, I'm losing your audio a little bit. I can you see you talk. Time I want to talk, or else you won't hear me because of Instagram. It's an oh, Instagram. Oh, okay, so. So mute, so I can talk. Can you hear Perfect. me now? Perfect, yes, 100%. Wait, okay. I want to talk you mute me so let me start by you saying hello to all your friends and uh, admirers and the people who are joining us live because they're going to hear some amazing incredible stuff uh about you and from you okay hello everybody um good evening um all the way from nigeria i know you have a wide audience that the freeze um i'm super excited to be here again like i said the last time i was here was one year ago and it was super exciting to converse with you. I think I was in Dubai. I was in Dubai the last time we spoke that the freeze. Yeah, um, and I, yeah, and I came on the live. Um, you know, we had a very great conversation that day as well. And um, interestingly, I'm still in the same space, the same company, the same, nothing has changed, but we just we just really put something to the market space so that is disruptive. You know, it's taking the world by storm um, right now. It's a global product, by the way, it's not just for Nigeria. But um, as always, you know, I think I'm super lucky to get connected to opportunities I'm um, at the very beginning, so um, I can share that goodness to people around. And by the way, Daddy Freeze, let me share something interesting. You see, mm -hmm. um, before this Zoom, before this um, um, Instagram, um, Instagram Live, I ran, I ran a personal campaign for what I'm going to talk about today. In less than five hours, it wasn't about, I think, almost a thousand plus um, requests to fix themselves in a Zoom call with me. It's crazy, Daddy Freeze, you know. Crazy stuff. So um, I said, you know what? Let me speak to the business people first. Then we'll let the flood get open after them. You know, and so if you're on the if you're on the live right now, I think you should really, really pay attention. Um, I'll do this one time and boom, I focus on other other avenues to make magic happen, as always. Uh, absolutely. Absolutely. All right, guys. So first things first is we've got Victor Lewis in the house. Um, tell us a little bit about your background so we can go uh, fully into what brought us here, why we are here, the reason we gathered here today. Okay. A bit about it. So, like I said earlier, yeah, um, back then in school, I think for me, I was really, really um, not so happy, you know, back in the day when my mom used to work at a day job and she was always going to work complaining every single time of, you know, there was one problem or the other. So I hated having a, a day's job. I hated 9 to 5, even when I was in secondary school. I just hated the fact that she comes home and she complains every single day. And I remember that when I got into University of Ibadan, where I finished from, 
Yeah, I remember we went to the, yeah, we're both from University of Baden. Um, I, I remember that I was looking for opportunities, you know, on the internet. I knew people were making legal funds um, from the internet. I had to connect to people in the U.S. I met my very first mentor, Ryan Conley. God bless that guy. Um, connected me to some amazing opportunities in the lifestyle system. Um, of course, a couple of other spaces that I was able to maximize. And like I said, I made my $400,000 when I was in my 300 level I remember one time in school, my, my lecturer always tell me that all these things I do online will not work. Why not go and get a good grade, get a good wife and get married and build my career? Sadly, I, that lecturer, I still saw him. I think I saw him two years ago. I'm not trying to shade him. Um, the man is still where he is when I left school a couple of like about four or five, about five, six years ago. He's still where he is till today. You know, and um, I just had that drive um, to want to help as many people attain financial freedom. You know, so I used to teach a lot of um things about the financial space i used to teach people about opportunities online you know i used to people direct selling i got involved in direct selling by the way i made my first hundred thousand from direct selling i remember what? the first time i saw it. okay so direct selling is simply you find an opportunity a product or a service that you can offer to other people without owning it so you literally do not need to create your own company you know, get admin stuff, um, get finance, all of those things. Um, you just find a product or service, get that product or service, offer it to the market space, get a commission. That's what I did. Um, and you don't need to do it alone. You can build organizations around this. And I did that, learned from the best of the best in the world. Um, a couple of them even follow me on Instagram. You know, some of the top income direct selling earners in the globe. Uh, my last mentor before I really went everywhere was um, someone called Romasio Fawcha. Um, he was number 16 most successful direct selling guy in the world as at that time. He was, was doing like about $1.2 million a month in earnings, right? So I was directly mentored by that guy. Um, met him physically in Dubai, met him all over the world, and then built some good connections. And those connections still today is what is still helping me till today. You know, and um, one good thing I'll say is uh, it, was, it was not just about meeting people coincidentally. It was about really believing that um, things will work out. And um, I believe in the law of attraction. I'm a very big fan of that. And I'm um, in the law of cause and effect. So um, I met Romacio because I would watched his videos, like tons of it. Yeah, um, I think it was two, three years before I even met him physically. So I had learned the way he did business. So one day he wanted to launch a new business and I understood the technique of launching that business. And I texted him on Facebook and boom, he told me fly to Dubai the next morning. Paid for my flight. So that was the very first time I slept in a, in a five-star hotel. It was Jamira Beach Hotel, opposite the Burj Al Arab. Um, one week, I didn't pay a penny. I was in school, you know, and boom, that was it. That was it, like the phrase. To send somebody a text message, and he flew you over to Dubai. Yes, because I understood the technique he was trying to launch. Now, I learned from him a couple of years back from YouTube without even knowing who he was. I learned this technique of launching businesses in direct selling. So that same technique, you want us to replicate it. And because I understood it, which is what I learned previously, it flew me for free. You know, one week, Dubai, five-star hotel, took care of every single thing. This happened about, I think it was six, seven years ago, there about. Mm. Wow, 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 wow. Okay, let's talk about what brought you here. Um, own a car, drive a car for cheap. How does that work? Great, great question, Daddy Freeze. Um, so let, let me start by saying something really interesting. You see, in Nigeria, I think many people have that concept of only the super ultra wealthy people can drive brand new cars. You know, um, the idea of the Tokumbo thing in Nigeria is everything is, is everywhere. You see someone that has money now, they rather go and buy a second hand used vehicle than a brand new vehicle. And you wouldn't blame Nigerians because the cost of a brand new car is expensive. I'm talking about 20, 40, 50 million sometimes. If you're going for the higher end cars, talking about the 100 million. You know, and um, it takes some level of success to hit the 100 million era as a whole, right? And then go and buy a car with the 100 million. It takes, you have to be that freeze, you know, doing big things out there. Or you have to be one of these guys doing some immense things out there for you to do that kind of thing. You know, so what we came up with was um, the concept where the regular person does not need to have 20 million, 30 million, 40 million. It has little as 380,000 naira a year. 
You can join a car club. I know that sounds crazy, right? You can join a car club, and with the car club, with some settings I'm going to share with us, you can then get yourself your dream car. By the way, in the car club, we only give 2023 brand new Sierra Rover cars. We don't do any other kind of cars, you know. And um, this is not just Nigeria, it's globally. The US, UK, but in Nigeria, we're not getting, I think in UK and Europe, they get um, a brand new Mercedes Benz. In Nigeria, we get something similar, but it's, um, it's called an Edo Plus um, by Shangan. It's a very amazing car. Um, and that one is called the Unity. Um, for those of us on the live, you can go to my page. I have a couple of videos there. Those cars will blow your mind. I will pick those cars above a Mercedes Benz anytime, any day. By the way, I love Mercedes. I'm a big fan. I, I actually also own one. You know, so I'm a big fan of Mercedes, but those cars are just breathtaking. Um, that if we so the concept here is help you get these cars now, little money, but also leveraging with your network. Now, I'll give a very simple um, example. A lot of people in Nigeria are used to doing this crowdfunding thing. They call it Ajo, right? So um, they call themselves 100 people, bring 50k every single month, and then every single every single month somebody takes that pool or fund. Every single month, of course, everybody knows that they must pay so that when their time their time comes, they can take that fund as well. Now it's something similar to that, but with this system, it's a bit different and a bit um, a bit upgraded, where you pay that fund, right, and then you leverage on your network, you build a simple small organization of about the cumulative number of 120 people, and boom, 2023 car is yours. You stay qualified for the next two, three years with as little as 380k a year, you own the car forever. Every three years, we give you a brand new car. So it's, it's out of this world that you face. That's how it works. Now, how, so you need to have 120 people under you. No, not, not, not 120 people personally, right? You need to build an organization of probably so let, let me give you the simple steps number one you join the club by the way you can go on for those people that are asking like lots of questions on the comment section there is um the link called mycarclubafrica.com simply click on that link there's a form because we need to qualify people it's not for everybody right people need to qualify to get into the structure now you be asked about five questions which involves probably you paying quarterly you can pay quarterly you can pay yearly you can pay um, um biannually it just really depends on what you can afford in fact there's, there's an option but it's the least option to pay monthly which is about twenty-seven thousand naira a month right but in here we're looking at quarterly because quarterly makes a lot of sense compared to monthly now once you do that you simply need to figure out three people who literally want to drive a brand new car as well you know everybody in the, in the world i believe wants to drive a luxury car invite them to the club simply take them through the same questions they need to qualify right and then um, if they qualify and they join the club um you get instant incentives for bringing them to the club and when your organization goes to 120 people you get the car straight up and you just keep paying your 27 dollars um, 27 thousand naira um, a month by the way that you phrase is the interesting part that 27 thousand naira covers insurance maintenance and breakdown cover right and all the cars come with um let me show you something six years warranty all the cars so if you have any issues you take the car back to the dealership and um the, the dealership sort out everything for you your job is just buy petrol put in your car and drive it so far you stay qualified um that's how it works mm -hmm. so far you stay qualified what does it take to keep you qualified okay so like i said yeah you need to maintain an organization of 120 people if you default we give you one month right to go back to that and it's almost impossible to default let me tell you why that you freeze if somebody knows that you got a brand new 2023 car of course this car will carry car club on it right and with a with a with a little barcode that you can people can scan to join you right of course there's no way i would drive that kind of car around and people will not want to know right the same way we we work with mortgage, you know. So if you if you are paying mortgage and you default for a while, you repossess it, right? That's how this works. So if you default for a while, the company will repossess it from you. That's how it works. So um, you can keep it for life. If you default, gets taken back from you. Like I said, many people bother about oh, 120 people. That's that's a very very you know long target. It's easy, very easy. People should focus more on what is that first step I must take 
I call it the domino effect, yeah? The little thing you will do right now that causes a, a series of chain reaction that then gives you that desired result. That's what this is. And um, for people on the live, like I said, I'm giving people that the freezes, you know, um, 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 channel. And, I, and I, I tell people most times that, you see, in life, yeah, um, who you're connected to determines the level of opportunities you get. Um, you have problems. You have um, um, things you want to get solved. You need to be connected to somebody that will connect to an opportunity. Now, people who are connected to you that the freeze have access to loads of opportunities. You know, you teach different things. I'm back here on your life again after one whole year. And you're always giving value to the community, you know. Now, someone on this call right now is thinking, oh, I have this rickety car. Oh, I lost a job um, because I did not get the right automobile to go for that particular interview. And um, you're listening to me right now. It is super simple that you take that first step of joining the membership, then you invite three friends to the club and let it run from there. I know the cool part that the freeze. If you bring in three people to the club, you make sorry a thousand error. If you do that in your first month, by the way, your first month, your first month, you join today, you bring those three people in your first month to the club, we reward you with 200,000 there. If your team hits about 60 people, we give you about an extra 250K every single month for you to probably release a car or something. And it doesn't stop there like the freeze. Well, I'll just stop there for now and then I'll give you more details. There's more where you can end up to 10,000 euros a month um, if you are a, a, an active member of the club moving forward. Okay. Now, a lot of people would say Ponzi scheme. Uh, is this government regulated? Do you have your licenses? Can you operate this legally? Or it is just what many other people try to do. And at the end of the day, people realize that uh, it wasn't what they said it would be at the end of the day. If, if you get Chris, it. Chris, I really love that question. Now, let me educate people here. Yeah? There is nothing wrong with direct selling in the, in the world. The difference between direct selling and Ponzi is that um, Ponzi schemes need new people to join for other people. And most Ponzi are even money-based, right? You need to, you, you get to make money. There's no products, there's no service, you know, that people actually get from the system. The last people that come into these schemes lose money. And I can tell you categorically that we're not just only registered globally, we have some major partners like the Sharjah Islamic Bank. By the way, the headquarters is in Dubai. Um, for those in Dubai, you can visit the office. I could also put it, put, it's, it's on the website on my bio, right? They can visit it. It's opposite the Future Museum on Sheikh Zayed Road. Hmm. I don't know, I just can't right now from going to Dubai, but that's where the headquarters is. You can go there, visit the office. We have in Wales, we have in Turkey, in Nigeria. By the way, this is the first time anybody's speaking about this. So we're the first set of people involved in nigeria nigeria does not really um, um like i said have systems where people can lease cars so that idea doesn't work in nigeria just yet and it's the first of its kind right so it is completely different from anything like that we also have extra benefits for members you can get discounted car shows you want to go to maybe a lamborghini launch that friend you like cars you know about the new lamborghini that you launched recently is i think the live launch is in the next two months right i'm a huge fan um, club members can get discounted tickets to that event. Mm. People pay for this. Thing. You know, you go to you go to some countries. You want to lease cars. That's a club benefit. You get updates on a lot of car conversations, right? Now, this is the major killer that you face. Nobody loses anything in car club. Even if you join car club and you cannot achieve the car, let's say you stay two years. You've been paying every single year, two whole years. The, 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 the organization will reward you with either you getting the car for a reduced criteria of 99 people or you take that money you've paid and go for a vacation. So you don't lose out, right? That's where the trips come in. So club members who have stayed qualified and have been paying their fees for the last two years can take that money they've paid and go for a vacation. If they stay for three years, a luxury vacation, reduced criteria. You stay for five years, which is I believe you stay for five years and you've not gotten the car. That's, that's funny. That's one person per month joining to get the car. You get the car for 60 people or you go for a couple's vacation. So you or your spouse, take that money you've been paying. And because you're a member of the club, you go on vacation. And if we do a very simple calculation that you freeze, right now in Nigeria, to go on a vacation will cost you way more than what you would have paid to the club. I'll give you a very simple example. In the club, you paid 380k 
for um, you know um, a whole year, right? And um, for two years, let's say you don't get access to the car, you still don't qualify after two whole years. It means in two years you've paid about seven sixty thousand naira. At the freeze, where can you really travel with seven sixty thousand naira in, in Nigeria? Uh, flight alone, flight alone is seven sixty thousand naira already. While with the club, you get flight and hotel. Of course, you take care of your visa by yourself. We won't do that for you. Flight and hotel, you get that, which is way more than what you've paid. So at the end of the day, you haven't getting more benefits, even if you don't achieve the car, right? You miss out on the car, you don't achieve that. There's a benefit right there for you. Mm, mm, mm. Absolutely. Um, what other opportunities does this give, and how can people contact you? Okay, great. Good question, Daddy Freeze. Now, um, there's an extra opportunity for people who are audacious. You know, I believe that um, luxury, the good things of life, yeah, um, should be gotten by people who are hardworking. You see, there's a reason why today, sir, you drive some amazing cars. You've worked out for it over the last couple of years. So it didn't come cheap. There is, there's a reason why I can stand here today and talk, and I can say, you know what, I've had this, had that, made some amount of money, helped a lot of people achieve success. It didn't come cheap, right? I literally went out there, worked very hard to make it happen. Now, if you know you're a hard worker and you're also a good team player, because the good news here is that we're running something right now. Um, let me flip my screen real quick, Daddy Freeze. As I'm on this, on this live right now, I'm, I'm still getting tons of notifications. We ran a sponsored ad, and trust me, guys, I've put in millions of naira into this. I'm going to show you real quick. I'm going to flip my screen to my Mac right now. So people see, right? I ran, I ran an advert um, on Snapchat. You can see this is it. This is 304 responses of people that actually filled up um, the conversation and said they can afford the business and they want to get started right now. By the way, you know I'm having a Zoom by 8 o'clock after this particular live. Now, yeah. what we're going to do is we're going to help those who come in first. It's first come, first serve, right? We're using the power of social media, the power of advertising. Because you are going to join this structure you can potentially get somebody put in your organization i'm not one of those guys that wants to make all the money i want to see 100 people get those cars you know those cars are beautiful cars like i said go to my bio check it out the cars are there mm. right or you can go to my car club africa on instagram or my car club um, on the website go to the experience the car session you see the car for yourself amazing stuff you know um and one of the good things, again, is the first five people that qualify in Nigeria, we are giving you something way more luxurious. It's called a Unity. Um, I'll tell you a bit of the features of this car. The car can pack itself. So meaning you can come out of the car and use the remote to pack your car. That's how luxurious the car is. It's in Nigeria right now. You know, it's called a Unity, right? Um, like I said, it's on my, on my um, page. So um, hard work, right, um, has a reward. Yeah, and if you are very hardworking, you want that reward, you can put in the work because, of course, there will be different levels of success in here. You want to do that real quick, go to the website, click the link, fill the form, let's see if you qualify. And like I said, we're not looking for everybody. I'm not looking for every Tom Dick and Harry to join this business, no. Now, aside from that, this is the big part. People can make from 1.2 million naira a month. That's about 1,500 euros to 10,000 euros every single month simply because they get people into car club and um that's how phenomenal this is all of the details like i said will be shared um people can book meetings with me one-on-one -on -one, but they need to click the link in my bio i will schedule a time on calendly put you on the zoom call show you a, a system that works you know um trust me guys um right now i'm literally reaching about hundred thousand people globally you know so first come first serve that's what it is mm. that you face yes uh um, there's something I always say. Um, I don't know if you. But freeze. What did you say? Are you Yoruba? On those states, yeah. definitely. Do you say what is Yoruba? Only Debo. You know what that means? They say that person will get mind nine feet chop sacrifice. 
There was a day they put a sacrifice for the gods at the junction. Pounded yam with nice effort and goat meat. People, they pass, they're they hungry because they no get mind. They no fit chop the sacrifice. Now, chopping sacrifice, get risk. You fit chop one, okay, they like this. Make the God, we get the sacrifice, begin to beat you, go to your house, follow you, go. <laughs> and if you get mind, chop the sacrifice. Make the God, we get the sacrifice, say, begin to fear, say, ah, but why am I a liar? Who am I a dead bomb with here? You understand what I'm saying? So life is about oh. risk. Of course, Daddy Freeze is not going to guarantee anybody. You cannot come and say, hey, hey Daddy Freeze, I, I watched him on your live. There are so many things. I put my money inside. There are so many things I, um, how do I put it? I invest in. Sometimes there are things I buy. You know what it's like to even bring a car in from abroad? You want to buy a car, you trust somebody with $100,000. Somebody that you have never met before. Is that no risk? My only problem with that, they want to enjoy the taste of the airball, but they don't want to be the one to go and carry it from the Orita Meta. Very true. Want to eat it, but you don't want to be the one that they will be chasing. Let me tell you something nothing good comes easy. Of course, that if he's not responsible for any financial decisions you make, that's up to you. Are you responsible for the decisions I make? But here's what I'm gonna tell you yeah, always open yourself up to opportunities. Why don't you give it? All starts with a phone call, it all starts with a conversation. Girl, where you go, Mari, put for your house. You are not going to one day see her at your door waiting to be let in. It starts with a how, how are you doing? If the girl, the first thing she says to you is, Oh, hi, how are you doing? I live in Osaka, London. My rent is due. Can you help me? Jack, Jack, I run away straight up. <laughs> but it, it starts with a conversation. Hello, how are you? What do you do? Oh, my name is Victor Lewis. I, I run the car club. What about you? Oh, my name is Cynthia. I'm a secretary. Oh, really? What did you study? I studied secretarial studies. The conversation builds. Conversation leads to dinner. Conversation from dinner leads to another date. And before you know it, one or two things can or cannot, may or may not happen. It all depends on the situation and the circumstance. So how do people get in touch with you? Okay, that's different. Um, we made it very simple, yeah. We're not giving numbers out. Very simple thing. Just visit mycarclubafrica.com, right? Um, by the way, that's that's um, a team website. Um, maybe the next time I come on your life, or by the way, maybe that if it's the next thing we will do is this. Um, the owners of my car club will be flying from the UK into Nigeria. We'll be awarding the first five people that qualify these cars next month. So there's like a month um, uh, avenue for people, right? Um, uh, in all honesty, that the freeze, the business is not mine, but I'm the very first person that qualified in Africa, by the way. Um, um, it, so there are four more cars to go, right? Every single thing I'm going to do with you, personal funds, the website for the team, personal funds. The company is not even helping yet because, um, you see, I believe that leadership, right? Leaders, the right leadership opens doors to, to loads of opportunities for many people. But that's why I said I'm not looking for every Tom Dick and Harry. So, there are five cars for Unity. The first five people, one is gone, by the way. That's me. And I'm proud to say it. And, um, you know, the other four will be gone, with or without um, every other person on this call. You know, so it's your choice to go out there, lock your spot. Let me teach you how I did it. You see, you cannot teach what you've not done, right? Um, I want to put something on the comment section. I did believe to Lewis. Maybe you, got, you guys just Google me when, when you have the time. I'm going to drop it on the comment section at the freeze. Um, there was a time I helped people in this country, over a thousand people, yeah, help over a thousand people make about $500 every single week for over like one year, over a thousand people, right? Um, and that was from financial education. Um, so when I say I will do something, I always do it. I have a couple of friends on the call, on, on the live, and I'm sure that they also know that that's not a, that's not a, um, a joke. When we say we'll do something, we'll do it. Personally, my goal is to help a hundred people. Hundred, get that car before the next six months. Hundred people. Of course, if you are if you are going to be audacious enough and you're on this call, you can fight for the last four unities. It's a luxury car. All the cars are luxury cars. 
But yeah, this one is like a, it's like an SUV. The Edo Plus is a saloon car that is amazing as well. You know, full touchscreen dashboard, um, 360 degree camera, all of those things. But um, when we help people achieve those cars, of course, some people are making up 10,000 euros a month. Now, when the owners come to Nigeria next month, maybe on this live, I'll come again and I'll do another live. I'll pay, I will come with my full chest. The same way I have spoken about it now is the same way I will stream that award presentation. You know, last year we had an event on October 1st. We had, we had about 4,000 people in that hall, like the phrase. Zero campaign. Zero. We did not do any campaign. I was shocked myself. I had some top celebrities who were there, performed, and called the event. This one, that the phrase, I, that the phrase I, that one I brought you, I invited you, you didn't come. You remember, was, right? Last year, my, my, my year was crazy. This one, I even want to see. I want to see what this is about. I'm actually interested. You know, I love cars. So I'm actually in the prison. Uh, That's why I came here. So, great. So I will give you a special VIP invite. I will stream that presentation of those cars to the doubters and say, oh, Nigerians will not believe. That is why today in Nigeria, not many people can afford to buy events. Brand new car. Or drive good things. Everybody is doubting. Oh, somebody is... For... Come on. Whatever you think is not possible will not be possible for you. One thing I've learned in life. If you think it will not work, it will not work. If you think it will work for you, let's go, guys. Let's get it done. 100 cars in the next six months. That's my goal. That's the phrase. 100 cars in the next six months. That's yeah. Cool. He has 10 more minutes in this live. By the way, um, Victor Lewis said he made his first $100,000 when he was still in the university in 300 level. Before me, I made my first $100,000. Eh? I think I was I probably worked for 10 years before I could I own a property worth hundred thousand dollars or uh, my cars add up to or my watches I think I think I think I'd worked for like, like 12 years wow wow yeah. that the freeze back then during your day there were opportunities were not open to people like this now so that's the different, different, um, you know, the difference between your, your own era and, you know, difference, major difference. There was no Instagram life where someone come and talk about opportunities like this, you know, nothing like that. So, 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 a lot of you. Let me let me say something here. Yeah. I was having this conversation with a friend of mine, and uh, I said it. Leave it. Just leave it and go. I said that uh, the only thing that can take me out of Nigeria is insecurity. The only thing that can take me out of Nigeria is the state of the country, the insecurity, not finances. There is no money I can make abroad that I cannot make more here. But I agree with you, sir. 100%. That my mates are driving abroad that I don't drive here. And let me tell you, abroad people, you get it cheap. You pay $500 a month, $1,000 a month, $2,000. We pay cash down. Then we bring it to Nigeria. Then we pay half of the price again to clear it. <laughs> so, so you need to understand that if at my age, 40 and above, you are running abroad, to me, it's like a failure. It's not anybody that is 40 and above and is relocating. To me, it's not, it's not successful. Because how do you run out of the rat race to go back into the rat race? Mm. Somebody mm. said, and I was watching the guy say it on, said, what's your dream job? He says, I don't dream about labor. I don't have a dream job. I have a preferred choice of income or a preferred occupation but i don't have a dream job because i don't dream about labor i have a dream car i have a dream house i have a dream holiday uh, yes i have things i aspire for but they don't involve labor so when someone says oh being a nurse in america is my dream job i worry for you because how do you dream about labor the point the thing is, 
ask questions find out if it is for you like he said it's not for everybody there are people people watching this live and there are people who are going to watch playback we're live on tiktok youtube instagram and facebook it's not for everybody i thought that the phrase it's Can not do you, do you think this is for you do you think you have and you see one thing i like to tell people with business is i'll give you an example about in 2020, I wanted a convertible. It cost a lot of money back then because it was a 2020 convertible in 2020. One of my guys came to me and said, why would you waste this much money in buying a car? When you can open businesses. He had about the same money and he opened businesses. I followed him to go and pack the load from the businesses. That's all folded up. You know, that, that you freeze, eh? I still have my car. So my car that looked like a bad deal has actually appreciated because of the Naira dollar. And I drove it since 2020, top down in traffic, playing music, having fun. You understand? Let me share my own personal story. Uh, my personal story. This happened to me in 2017. There's a popular Nigerian millionaire, uh, not millionaire, billionaire. I'm sure many people even know this person. I don't want to mention his name on your life. I went to his house in Ikoi, Somebody apparently had a bank, one of the bank, his bank manager, his corporate banking manager, introduced me to him so we could do some level of business for him. He wanted to give me a million dollars, that the freeze. When I was done with the meeting, this man walked me out of his house, right? And he walked me to my car. And he said, Victor, how old are you? I said, I was 27 back then. And he's like, Victor, at 27, I did not have this kind of car. I was driving a a 2019, I think it was 2019, 2019 Mercedes Benz was what I was driving back then, right? And it's like, Victor, when I was your age, I never, ever had this kind of car. And because of that alone, it got my account number, sir. And boom, it was some massive, massive funds that, that pulled in, into my account that day. And simply because of what I had. And you see, people think it's a joke. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I want, I want to, I want to, somebody, somebody just 